because of this concept of plasticity, there have been a lot of claims that you can change the brain and make people smarter. You can actually increase intelligence. And that experience changes the brain. The brain is plastic, so why not make people smarter? And one of the first examples of this was 1993, when a group published a paper claiming an increase in IQ after listening to a, a particular piece of music. You recognize this Mozart sonata? Listen to this for a few seconds. Do you feel smarter? Anybody else feel smarter? So this really took uh, the scientific world and the public by storm that you could become smarter, higher IQ, just by listening to Mozart. At the time, in 1993, the governor of Georgia heard about this and got their state legislature to appropriate money to buy Mozart CDs to give to every mother of a newborn baby in the state of Georgia. So here we are some years later. IQ has not changed. This is now referred to as the, sh the Schmozart effect <laughs> because, in fact, uh, it really couldn't be replicated. But it took years. Every high school science fair I went to when my kids were growing up had a Mozart experiment. And I'm sure these were all over the country. But in truth, it, it didn't work. But it was an example of, of brain plasticity. Mm -hmm.